Hey everyone, it is Miss Marie here again from the Aiken County Public Library and we are doing a story time all about apples. To so go along with this story time, we have STEM kits prepared for you that you can pick up from the Youth Services Department at the Aiken County Public Library. And in that STEM kit is some material that you can use to go on ahead and follow the apple tree that we are going to make in just a little bit after we read some stories and these kits are available until supplies last if you didn't get a kit go on ahead and just save a paper towel roll it's a simple stem activity that we're going to do so along with the materials for that STEM kit. Um, we also have, you're going to find this paper in here. It goes on to tell you all about um, how we were able to bring you this story time on the STEM kit. Uh, we recently received a grant from the South Carolina State Library. It's called Kitchen in a Box Grant and it's promoting health literacy. So in your STEM kit bag, you're also going to see a survey. If you go on ahead, fill that survey and get it back to the Aiken County Public Library, you can hand it to a, a circulation staff member or any staff member. Um, but if you return it to the circulation desk, you can get a small prize. And filling out those surveys is really great because it allows us to keep on getting grants so we can keep on providing such great programs for you guys. And you're also going to find in that STEM kit a My Plate, My State, South Carolina. And then right here, um, this little writing activity, what foods are grown, raised, or produced in your state or territory, as well as the food plate. And the shape of our state. You're also going to find in your STEM kit bag some resources that we have at the library. Now these are different books that you can find um, not only at Aiken but we are a four county system so these are in the ABBE, the Aiken, Barnwell, Bamberg, and Edgefield Regional Library System. So you can place holds just go to our website and on the back, we also have some great videos, including two from the South Carolina State Library about how to make applesauce and apple slice, apples slice snacks. And just some websites that you can go to with your children as well to learn a little bit more about apples. All right, friends. And then after we do our story time and make our craft. We are also going to do a cooking activity. Um, I did go on ahead and post the ingredients that you will need in the flyer um, as well as online and our Facebook page. So we are gonna be getting to that in just a little bit, but first we are going to read some stories. So we have lots of activities to do with apples, yay! All right, friends, so we are going to read I Am An Apple. Are you ready? I am a red bud. I live on a branch in an apple tree. That is the bud friends right there. I grow in the rain. I grow in the sun. I unfold. I'm an apple blossom. I have five petals. One, two, three, four, five. I am beautiful. In time, my petals fall to the ground.
Now, friends, what is that now? I am a small apple. I hang by a stem. The stem brings me water and food. I grow bigger and bigger. My tree is full of apples. Once we were green, now we are red. Red, redder, reddest. We are ready to be picked. Most apples are picked by farm workers. Truckers drive us to the market. Apples come in different shapes and colors. Some are sweet, some are sour. Apple sauce is made from apples. What else is made from apples? Each apple has a star of seeds inside. The star has five parts, just like the flowers. One, two, three, four, five. If you plant apple seeds, what do you get? Apple trees. Yay, that was such a fun story, friends. All right, friends, our next story is the apple pie tree. My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of apple pie. Can you guess what that is? Apples! And every year we watch our apple tree grow. In winter, our apple tree is brown and bare. But in spring, leaves grow in every branch. Look, two robins are building a, a nest in our tree. Tiny pink flower buds appear on the branches. The robins chirp loudly, guarding their eggs. Just when the flower buds open, Baby robins break through the eggshells. Now our tree is covered with blossoms and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. When breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground. Mama and Papa Robin teach their little birds to fly. Some days it rains and the wind blows hard, but our apple tree is strong. And the robins are safe in the branches. Small green apples grow where the blossoms used to be. Soon it is summer, the apples get bigger and bigger. The little robins have grown up, but they visit every day. The branches bend down low. They are covered with big 
round apples. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our basket to the brim. Mom and Dad help us peel the apples, cut them up, and pile them into a pie shell. Now we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. Mom puts the pan in the oven. At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree's grown an apple pie. It smells so good. And it tastes delicious. There's nothing as good as an apple pie. You grow yourself. <laughs>